everyone, Sketchy Scotsman here again and today just a quick video about my DHX2 Fox Coil Shock. Uh, I'm just changing it to spring today uh, just in response to a couple of videos and comments I was getting from people on forums telling me that I had to take it to a shop to change the spring. Totally incorrect, it only takes a few minutes and it's all because people don't realise how to remove the bearing from this end. Um, really easy job, can do it at home and I'll show you how right now. Okay, here we go. So what tools will we need? Uh, you'll need a nice little vise for putting it back together. We're going to have a hammer or a mallet. Um, you can use spring, of course. And here's the tricky bit where people get a bit lost. Um, you need, if you get the proper fox tools, you'll get um, a 9.8 or a just under a 10 mm um, cylinder which will fit in there which will let you punch out the uh, pin which is inside uh, which is a friction fit luckily I have this is, just, this is like a, a socket extender for a screwdriver um, and that's exactly 9.9 .9, just under 10 mm on the outside diameter so it fits in perfectly and sits against the pin then take a hammer and support the shock just by the ring and the eyelet so you're not putting load on the shaft and then literally just give it some gentle taps not too hard just keep tapping at it don't want to damage the shock and you'll see it starts to the eyelet starts to work its way out so just keep going And just gentle, you don't want to damage anything. Just keep tapping, it will pop out. There we go. And there is the, the eyelet that's come out. Okay. To show you how it's put together, there's the shaft. It's uh, got a shoulder on both sides which fits nicely against the inside of the bearing. And that's all it is. Okay, so we've got one side out, we need to remove the other. Now what you need is something which will fit within the eyelet of the shock and can push the other eyelet out. So it needs to be about 15, 15 millimeters. Um, and I just so happen to have a socket which fits perfectly. There we go. Here's a socket. The outer diameter is 15 millimeters, and I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to gently tap on it until until it falls out again. Just like the smaller socket to fit in there. And there we go. There you go, just both eyelets and your pin out. Okay, now to remove the spring. This bit is easy. Unwind the preload adjuster. Okay, just enough to drop the, uh, the collar. And then you'll see a little retaining spring, so a clip. You don't actually need any tools for that. If you've got a small pick, it might help, or a small Allen key. Um, but you can actually just work it out with your nails and your finger, which I'll try and show here. So just see that bends it out. Work it all the way around and then just carefully pull it off your shock. There we go. And then the collar will just slide off. And there's your spring. 
Simple job. Now for the new spring, we've got an SLS spring here we're putting on. And I'm just gonna line that up. Okay, collar back on. Get the retaining clip back on. Slide it down and it will click in place. Awesome. And then just put this preload adjuster back down just to stop the spring rattling around. There we have it, new spring on. So now we just need to install these bearings back in there. Really simple. And we're going to use a vise. Okay, all you need is a vise. And I'd recommend some soft gels for it just to stop scratching anything on the shock. And then just pop one of the one of the bearings on the eyelet. Try to make sure it is uh, square with the shock. This is a good time to check the bearings. Well, just check it runs smooth. If it doesn't, then replace them. Um, you can do it similarly how I knocked out the pin. Just find some right size sockets and uh, knock out the bearing. But yeah, we'll put it into the vise there. Make sure it's square. And then we'll just press the press it into the square. Um, it's good. I forgot to show you there, but recommend that you you put some uh, grease on on the eyelet, and just as you reassemble. Helps make sure it doesn't seize. Put some grease on the pin as well. Pin back in. And other side bearing there. Put it back in the vise and Press it in and Bob's your uncle, you're done. There we have it. Shock with a new spring installed. Awesome job, let's put it back on the bike.